this is cuter. I think my favorite reel is this one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna start my day off with my usual matcha latte. Some cinnamon, water, and then the milk. Yay, we have our matcha latte. That's good. Okay, let's get the work day started. Let's turn on some lights. It's just nicer when everything is nice and bright and it just makes me feel way more awake. So I'm going to start off by planning my calendar for the day. So basically my to-do items, not just for work, but outside of work as well, because we need to get a lot of things done today. I came across this video about creating multiple different calendars on your Google Calendar and color coding them. So wait, let me show you what I did. So basically... I broke down all of my calendars into multiple calendars. So things like content creation, health, which is like going to the gym, relationships for social activities, startup for my startup ideas and work as well. So if I take work, for example, I will see all my work related things that I have to do today. And then I can add my remaining tasks after work ends so that I can plan out my entire day. I've only been using this for a couple of days now, but so far it's been a game changer because it just makes things so much easier for me to organize and color coding the different calendars also allows me to see what type of task I need to get done and I don't know, color coding also makes it feel like it's a lot less messy and makes it easier for me to get started with doing things. I did want to release my video of tried to quote my way to a million dollar today but I don't think I have time to edit it definitely don't have time in the morning so I think I'm just going to edit it to the evening but that means there's yet another item added to our list to get done today I also need to pack because I'm going to be traveling tomorrow I need to shop before I pack because I need to go and buy some presents for friends and also just some necessities from Germany for me this is cuter Cute. Done with planning and now I'm going to switch over to my work laptop so that we can get started with work. And then I need to do planning for work. So we have a bunch of meetings today. Okay, it's not a lot of meetings for those like non-engineer people, but for me it's a lot of meetings. But basically there is one in the morning and then another one at right after the stand-up at 10.30 and then there's one in the afternoon. Well. The first thing I have to do is that I had opened a pull request yesterday for a review and there are some comments on it. So I'm first going to just look at the comments and answer them and see if I need to change something. And I have another task that I'm working on which is more maintenance related. I was just working on something that had something to do with metadata and now every time I think of metadata, I think of meta like Instagram, WhatsApp, Instagram. Let me check on my Instagram page. It's been a while since I opened it. Follow Life of Gores if you haven't already. Plugging there. It's been way too long since I posted anything. I think my favorite reel is this one. Also because it has like 3 million views. So probably because of that. But it was a video that I created that was, I wish that was a fun way to learn coding. And then I listed out a bunch of apps that I thought were really cool and interesting. And talking about cool apps to learn coding, we have Cody, who are also the sponsors of this video. Cody is a great way to make coding more accessible to beginners. If you're looking to learn coding, this tool is awesome. Think of it like Duolingo, but for coding. It breaks down complex coding concepts into manageable interactive lessons. And it even has personalized learning paths based on your current knowledge level. I remember when I was a junior developer or learning how to code, having a structured learning path was crucial to knowing what's going on. And Cody provides exactly that. They even have gamified elements that keep learners engaged and motivated. If you're looking to start your coding journey, Cody offers free access with a daily usage limit. So check out the link in the description box below to start learning today. So thank you Cody for sponsoring this video. So I realized I haven't done one of these day in the live videos in a while. 
now. And that's why maybe I should give you a bit of background of what I'm working on at work. So I'm currently in a team that used to do a lot of front-end stuff, but in the recent months, I have been working on a lot of the back-end stuff and I'm also working on back-end right now. And I'm building this new endpoint currently, so that's my current task, which has a business logic that I have to implement that relies on what the other engineers in my team are working on as well. And I think that's the type of thing that I enjoy a lot because it does feel like you're kind of in school and you're working on a group project together and you, all of you have one goal that you kind of need to achieve and just do your part to get the team there. So I've had projects like that. We have the stand up in one minute, so I'm just going to get ready for that. Hey, morning. Yeah, I booked it uh, for Wednesday. Okay, I guess we go through the in progress. Just ended my meetings and... But it's now time to update my pull request that we talked about earlier. And I just had a discussion with the other engineer who left me a comment as well. And now I kind of know what I need to do. So I'm just going to make those changes. And I think it should take me like 15 minutes. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm finally done with that task. I think coding at work is so different from coding at home or like coding in my personal projects. Because when I code at work, then you actually need to get your code reviewed. But I feel like when I build my personal projects, I'm just coding whatever feels right and I don't really need to get it reviewed. And I pretty much can do whatever I want. When I work, I need to be a little more careful with what I'm doing. And I guess I can also lean more on my teammates at work for help or just to uh, have a brainstorming buddy with. But when I build and work on my own projects, it's kind of just me and DeepLink or ChatGPT. I don't know what I like better, like working in a team or working all by myself or on a project. But yeah, I think I'm just going to get something to eat now. I might have some leftover chili, so I might just eat that. My lunch. Okay, here's my lunch. I have some chili, which is corn, beans, tomato, spices. Supposed to be like a Mexican chili. And then some fresh queso, which is cream cheese, and a bunch of avocados. And this is my new favorite sauce, which is like chipotle adobo. We got it from the Asian slash Mexican store. And while eating lunch, I think I'm going to quickly watch and the updates on the Blake Lively drama, which I've been very into because it's just so interesting. I don't know if any of you are into that. Just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, time to make some milk tea because I need some caffeine. Got this from the Asian store, which I loved in Singapore. So I'm going to use this. Basically cinnamon and cardamom in everything. Okay, now the most important is my straw. Okay, let's get back to work. That was a good lunch. We now have a bit of time before my next meeting. I think we have two and a half hours. So that's a good amount of time to get stuff done. So my previous pull request that I did before lunch is now going to be merged because I finally got an approval. I can't finish the task yet because I still need to do one more thing. So I need to create another pull request. So I will do that. And then we should be done with this task, I think. The task is more or less just creating an endpoint, but there's just a few things that need to be done. And because like I said, there's a lot of moving parts. So I needed to wait for another engineer to finish what they were doing and now that they merged their change I can pull their change and modify what I was working on. I don't know how life as an engineer would be without Git or like without version control. It's a weird thought. Now I'm gonna make the change that we talked about and then I look super red for some reason but after making the change, then I'll get back to you and let's see how long it takes. We are done with that task. So I created the, the last pull request that we need to do and then I'm just going to 
now review other people's pull requests. I think I deserve a break. Let's check on the YouTube channel. No way. Are we at 28k subs? Oh my god. People really like the coding website to learn German video. I remember when I was editing that, I was like, why would anyone watch this? Like, it's so long and it's so boring. It's uh, not super interesting and I'm probably not the best editor. But thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. I think I'm generally going to try building out Lex, which is the tool that I created to help me speak German and maybe publish it as well. But the thing is, I have to monetize it because LLMs are costly and I don't incur all the costs. So I need to think about how to publish it and make it accessible to people out there without um, it incurring me a lot of costs as well. So I'll try to figure that out. I haven't tried out DeepSeek yet because when I tried to use DeepSeek last time, the API page was under construction. So maybe I can try using DeepSeek and if that works, then I can actually release it for free for people on the waitlist and then try to monetize it next time for more people. So sign up for the waitlist if you want. And it would also be so cool to know how much are people willing to pay for this? It's these type of things that's pretty hard to answer, but it's exciting nonetheless. Okay, my PR was approved, so I'm going to merge it. And yay, time for the next meeting. This is going to be the last one of the day. And then I'm late for the meeting. Bye. Weird movement. I'm really contemplating buying one of those walking pads. And because I haven't left the house the whole day today, so it would be very nice to have the walking pad so at least I can get some workouts in. Also today morning, the project that I was working on finally went live and in production and there's actually people using it because I can see it in my dashboard. It, it pretty cool. There's like more than 100 people using it, which is always a very nice thing to see. For the rest of the day, I have two choices. I can either start working on something else, like a brand new ticket, or I have my other ticket, which is a maintenance task that I could complete. Let's go. The workday is over. Out goes this laptop and in comes my personal laptop. Okay, you might hear a different audio, but I'm not longer filming on my camera because I'm now going to head out to go shopping. Hey Siri, what's the temperature now in Berlin, Germany? Okay, it's minus one and it can go down to minus nine. Yes, I think I will change my clothes and put on something warmer. Okay, I look super funny, but I will be warm. Okay, I totally forgot to film, but now I'm making dinner and I'm eating some instant noodles, but I'm also making some chicken chickpea curry. How it, this is how it looks. This is my noodles and this is going to be my curry. Okay, my dinner. I love eating just out of the pot. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels so nice. I love the noodles. Okay, going to pack now. These are all the items that are gifts that I need to bring back with me. I'm finally done packing. It looks packed. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was kind of all over the place, but I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one.